Hi, Mr. Cobb. How are you doing today? Doing well. And yourself? I'm good. My name's Brittany, and I'm with Occupational Therapy. And so, um, you're recently home from the hospital after having a stroke, correct? Yes. Okay. How, how have things been going? Uh, a little difficulties. Okay. You had occupational therapy while you were in the hospital for a while, yes. right? So you're pretty familiar with what we do and everything. Yes. Um, you said you've been having some difficulties. What are some things you've been having difficulties with? Everyday life, small things here and there. What's something around the house that is hard for you? Brushing my teeth. Uh, okay. Okay. That's definitely some things that we'll, we'll work on when I come here to see you. Um, anything else that you really enjoy doing that you really haven't been able to do much of? Football. Oh, okay, you like to play football. What's been like the hardest thing for you getting back into that? Throwing a football. Throwing a football. That could definitely be a goal that we make for you, you know, really working on that. Today, what I'm going to be doing is measuring your joints just to kind of see how you move and also testing some of your muscles. And I'll definitely look at that arm that you had the right side affected. Yes. Do you have any pain or anything? No, no pain. No pain? Okay. <clears throat> So you haven't had any pain on that right side at all? A little bit pain uh, there. Okay. Can you rate your pain for me? It'd be about a five. Okay. Alright. Okay, so from a zero to ten you're about a five in pain. Can you show me where you're having the pain? So on my shoulder area. Okay. All right, so um, the next thing we're gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda show you some movements, if you can copy those, and then we'll start doing the measurements, okay? All right, so if you can bring your arms up like this. Okay, good, and then elbows back like this. And back up. All right, and then can you come to the middle like this? And then just do your wrist like this. All right, good. And now I'm gonna go ahead and measure your wrist, okay? So, give me one second. I'll move the table closer to you. All right, if you can put your arm on the table for me, all right, and hang your wrist off the side just like this, good. All right, and then can you bring your wrist up like this? You could do the same thing for me. This time, here, bring your wrist down. Bring your wrist all the way down. Whenever you bring your wrist up, I'm gonna put pressure on you, okay? And just don't let me push it down. Just keep trying to bring it up, all right? All right, go ahead. All right, can you bring it up and just hold it? Good, okay, bring it back down. We're gonna try one more time with me putting the pressure, okay? And just try to, try to keep it up. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and um, do something on your shoulder. So you can remain seated, but I'm going to go ahead if you'll move your arm off and I'll move the table. Okay, so this time, just on this side, you're going to bring your arm up like this, like you did last time. Um, just go ahead and bring it up and try to hold it there. Okay. And bring it back down. 
And this time, um, I'm going to put the pressure on your arm and try it. Try to keep coming all the way up, okay? okay. Are you having any pain at all right now? No, I'm fine right You're now. You're okay? All right. All right, go ahead and go up. Okay. Go ahead and try again, and don't let me push your arm down. And for the rest of the stuff that we're going to do, um, if I can have you lie down right here on the bed. Facing up? Yes. Three. Okay, so this time we're going to be doing kind of that same motion that we were doing when you were sitting, and I'm just going to, I'm going to measure you on this side, but while you're lying, okay? Sounds good. And I'll tell you when. All right, if you can go ahead and bring your arm up over your head as far as you can. Okay. Okay, Mr. Cobb, next we're going to do your elbow. All right, so if you can go ahead and put your elbow like this, just go ahead and touch the tips of your fingers to your shoulder. Both arms this time? Uh, you can just go ahead and do this one. Okay. And if you can raise your arm all the way up to the ceiling, point your fingers to the ceiling for me. And this time I'm going to um, apply some resistance like I was doing before. Alright, so this time you're going to point your fingers to the ceiling and just hold it for me. Okay, good. And come back down. And this time I'm going to apply some resistance and don't let me push you down, okay? come back down and we'll go ahead and do it one more time All right. you can bring your arm back down all right mr. Cobb you can go ahead and sit up we're done with the measurements all right, and kind of just based on some of these measurements today, you know, we're going to talk about some goals um, as far as, you know, doing the activity to throw the football and brushing your teeth just to kind of get some more strength in that arm and work on that. We can also work on doing some things with your left hand, too, you know, just to kind of, that way you can start doing some things on that side also. Awesome. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right, and just to kind of wrap up, you know, just a couple more questions um, as far as some other symptoms of a stroke. Have you had any changes in mood or irritability or anything like that? No. No. Have you had any trouble speaking or understanding people? Not at all. Anything like that? And any falling to that side? No. You just have the weakness and a little just bit of pain? Correct. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Well, it was good meeting with you today, and I look forward to meeting with you again. All right. You have a good day. All right. You too. Bye. We're done.